Hey Nighthawks, today is January 13th, 2017. I'm Sydney and welcome back to The Nest. So we've all seen superhero movies, right? You know, eyes shooting lasers, muscular guys flying around in stretchy pants and capes, that kind of thing. But do you ever think that there are heroes all around us all the time? They may not wear capes and throw cars, but they have big impacts on our lives. Corbin can tell us more on these heroes that stay in the shadows. Unspoken heroes of Nelson, Nelson, Nelson. Students don't think about it often. Without our custodians and cafeteria staff, Nelson would be a mess. I'm well with everything that's going on. I would think cleaning up behind themselves would definitely help the custodian a lot. Our cafeteria workers work from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., and some of our custodians work until late at night. Some students leave messes for the custodians to clean up and waste food provided by the cafeteria. Pet peeves when serving in the cafeteria. Kids touching the food and then saying they don't want it. <laughs> Our custodians and cafeteria staff love working here at Nelson. It gives me the hours to still be a very active parent and I enjoy working with kids. But we can make their job easier by cleaning up after ourselves and not wasting food provided by the cafeteria. So next time you see a custodian or cafeteria worker, Thank them for their hard work and time here at Nelson. Wow, who knew that the custodians and cafeteria staff do so much for us? Think of them next time you throw paper on the ground or don't eat that food you touched in the lunch line. And from all of us here in broadcast, we'd like to say thank you. What are you doing? I heard hero, so I'm hero to save the day. <laughs> Obviously by hero, I just meant that I need someone like you to sit in and like listen to my problems and give me advice. Oh. So on that note, let's go to Ashrita to see who your fellow Nighthawks have in their lives to save the day. Not all superheroes have capes or superpowers. In fact, there's some superheroes all around us. My personal hero is my sister because I talk to her. My personal hero is my mom because she never gives up and she's hardworking. My personal hero is my, one of my cousins because he taught me how to do exponents, which, so I'm already kind of ahead in this unit for math. Uh, my parents, because they've always watched out for me and I love them. My dad, because um, he's fun to be around, he's funny, and I just love him. Both of my parents, because they encourage me a lot, and when I need help with something, they, they help me even when they're busy and they have a lot of work to do. And when I need something, they give it to me if I actually need it, so, yeah. My dad, he usually helps me on everything I do, and we do everything together. We go to Lake, and we're best buddies. So next time you see your hero, make sure and say thank you for saving your day. Wow, with this homework and a test tomorrow that I need to study for, I'm never going to get to soccer practice on time. I wish there was a real superhero that I could use on the chaos that is my life. Let's see if Avery can help us out. One, two, ready, go. Wow, I really could use Nighthawk Man in my life. Now for some super announcements. We will be celebrating Nelson's diversity through a multicultural minute during the announcements twice each month. 
we will provide a student the opportunity to create a one minute video that will be shared with their peers and teachers. If you are interested in creating a video to share, please see Coach Rucker in the main gym. Hey Nighthawks, do you know the answer to the following questions? Which state is known as the Great Lakes State because it is bordered by four of the five Great Lakes? The first successful airplane flight at Kill Devil Hills is commemorated on the quarter of which state? To see an acrobatic show in Beijing you would walk, and to walk along the Great Wall, you would travel to what country? If you think you know these answers, you just may be the first Nelson Middle School B champion. The champion of the Nelson Middle School National Geography B will advance to the next level of competition, a qualifying test to determine state competitors. All school champions are eligible to win the national championship and its first prize, a $50,000 college scholarship at the national championship May 15th through 17th, 2017 in Washington, D.C. The Nelson Geography B competition will take place on Tuesday, January 31st during advisory and go through tutorials in the afternoon in room C118. The competition should last about one hour. The winner of the Nelson Middle School B will take a qualifying test that will be sent to the National Geographic Society to see if our lucky student will advance to the state level competition. That's it for this episode and make sure to tune in to NTV next week for Team Nighthawks broadcast. From the Nest, I'm Sydney. Have a great rest of your Friday. Oh! <laughs>